How important is a good credit score to a house cleaner? That's a great question, and we're going to talk about that today. Hi there, I'm Angela Brown, and this is Ask a House Cleaner. This is a show where you get to ask a house cleaning question, and I get to help you find an answer. Now, today's show is brought to us by SavvyPerks.com. And since we're talking about money, this is a place where you can save some money. It's an employee benefits program that you can offer to your employees where they can save gobs of money on stuff that they buy every day anyway. All right, SavvyPerks.com. Now on to today's question, which comes from a house cleaner who wants to know how important it is to have a good credit score. Now I'm going to make this as simple as I can because I'm not a money person, but I do know the importance and I understand the importance of having a good credit score. All right, now when you go to get a job for the very first time, you're not going to have any sort of a resume because you don't have a work history. But over the years, as you work, you build up a resume that shows all the different jobs that you've had, and it shows if there are gaps in your work employment, and it also shows what your skills are and the different types of jobs that you accepted, which shows your choices and your skills. Now, when you have a credit score that's very similar to having a resume where the banks can look at your financial resume, which is your FICO score, and they can tell whether or not there are gaps in your payment history, whether you have loans, whether you have credit cards and some of the financial choices you've made. So it's a lot like having a financial resume. Now, one of the reasons it's important that house cleaners have a good credit score is because the house cleaning industry is kind of notorious for being an under the table industry. And I don't know where it started. I don't know how it got started. I think it's because some people pay with cash and a lot of house cleaners will pocket the cash and they don't report that. The risk of not reporting the money that you earn is that it doesn't show up anywhere. And so it looks like a gap on your employment history if you were to go get a loan, for example, and they're looking at your credit history and there are no payments of any sort. They're like, ah, you have no money. Okay, so what determines whether or not you're eligible for a loan is what kind of risk do you propose? And so if somebody looks at your credit history and they say, oh, you have no payments on any credit cards or you have no income coming in, this is a scary thing because that says that you're a really high risk customer or a high risk person. And so why would I give you a loan if you can't prove that you have a history of payment? It's like, why would I give you a job if I can't prove that you have any skills and that you've never worked for anyone before? So having a good credit score is really important. Now, FICO stands for the Fair Isaacs Corporation, and it's kind of a standard in the industry. Basically, what it is, is there's a rating that goes from about 300 up to 850. And above 700 for your credit score is good, and below 600 is bad. So that's the simple version of it. And the average standard American is somewhere between six to 750. So that's kind of where the range is. But if you have like a 300 score, bad, 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 nobody's going to loan you any money. Now, if you have below like 600, there are secondary banks that specialize in high risk customers. And so a lot of house cleaners fall into this category where they don't have a track record of payments. And so what happens is when they go to get a loan, let's say for their car, instead of getting a reasonable rate, which is three or four or 5% interest, sometimes it goes up to 18% interest for the car that you're going to purchase. And we all know as house cleaners, we need vehicles to get to and from our jobs. Now, a lot of house cleaners will go to buy a house. And when they go to buy a house, the bank wants to look at that FICO score and they want to say, what is your payment history? And they want to make sure that you're not a risk because if they're going to loan you hundreds of thousands of dollars for a house, they want to make sure that you have the capability of paying on time. One of the most important things that regulates your FICO score is how often do you pay your bills? Do you pay your loans and do you pay your credit cards on time? And so that's really important that you do that. Then also there's a credit ratio balance. And the credit ratio is let's say that you have $10,000 of credit available to you on two credit cards. Let's suppose that you have used $5,000 of that credit. So you're at about 50% on your credit ratio, okay? And so the goal, the ideal goal is to stay under 30%. So if you have $10,000 available to you, you don't wanna use more than $3,000. You wanna stay below that 30% threshold because that will then boost your credit score. 
So the whole purpose of having a credit score is to prove to the banks and to prove to organizations that you are credit worthy, meaning I pay my bills on time. I earn money, I pay my bills. That's really what it's all about. So it comes down to when they look at your payment history, they're looking at how long have your accounts been open. And it's really weird because when you go to join the Better Business Bureau, they're going to look at your bank account and see how long your bank account has been open. Now, I've had a business for 25 years and I just switched gears back in January of 2016. And I started a new business name, but I kept the same bank account open. Now, I wanted to open a new bank account for the new business because it had a new business name and it's under a new identity. But what's really interesting is the Better Business Bureau said, since this is a new company, what can you show us that shows you've had this business for 25 years? And I literally pulled up all my bank accounts from the last 25 years. It's the same bank account that's been open this long and it shows money coming in and money going out. And so that's very important to them because they don't want to give you an accredited business rating if in fact you're like a fly by the seat of the pants business. So there are a lot of companies like your cell phone company and your cable bill. They will charge a security deposit when you open a new account unless you have a credit rating that is above the 700. And when they look at the credit rating, they say, oh, this person is not a risk to us. They pay their bills on time. Therefore, we will waive your security deposit. So there are a lot of benefits of having a low ratio of credit and a high credit score. And so the important thing is that you, you do want to establish credit because you are a business. And who knows when you might need that credit. You may not need it today and that's okay. But if you have a credit card and you make all of your cleaning purchases with that credit card, you can pay that off at the end of the month. And that shows every month that you have money coming in, you have money going out. And as you do that, you're building your credit score. Now there are hard and there are soft credit score inquiries. And so if I'm just sitting at my computer and I'm checking my own credit score so that I can do all the right things to make sure that I boost it, that's a soft credit score that doesn't hurt my credit account from a bank perspective. But if you go out and you're talking to five or six different car dealerships and they all pull your credit and they'll make you sign something that says, yes, it's okay if you pull my credit. When they pull your credit, that's a hard credit inquiry. And so every time somebody pulls your inquiry, every time you try to get a credit card, every time you try to get a bank loan, every time you get a car, that lowers your credit score. So you don't want to do it very often as far as trying to gain new credit. You want to get an account, you want to keep it forever, and you want to make sure that you pay on a regular basis. Charge stuff to that credit card, pay it off at the end of the month. And like I say, you never know when you're going to need it. But the day may come 10 years down the road when you decide, lo and behold, your business has grown so much, you want to walk across the street and you want to just buy out your competitor. But now you need a business loan to do that. When you go to the bank, they're going to say, how much do you want? And you say, I want X amount of dollars. They'll look at your credit score and say, you know what? No problem. And they'll write you a check right there for that amount. So it gives you leverage and it gives you power when you have a good credit score. So if you don't pay your bills on time, if you don't report your income, if you have really, really bad credit or you're working with secondary banks right now because your credit is really bad, today is a really good day to make a commitment to yourself to start cleaning that up because you have so many more choices in life when you are not at risk. And that's a really important thing to realize. It's like going in to get the job interview. When you come in and you have these huge gaps in your employment history, somebody might take a chance on you, but there's going to be a cost. They might give you a probation period, or they might put you on a lesser job, or they might pay you less money because you are a risk to their company. And it's the exact same thing with banks, credit cards, home loans, car loans, you're a risk. And if you are a risk, nobody wants to take a chance on you. And so unless you're going to spend your entire life having other people who have good credit co-sign for you, you want to make sure that you get your credit in alignment so that as a business owner, you have the power you need to grow. All right, that's my two cents for today. Get your credit scores up, clean up your credit. This is the time to get out of debt. It's the time to start a new financial resume for yourself. Until we meet again, leave the world a cleaner place than when you found it.